There has been a lot of talk lately about solar power plants. The sun is a renewable energy source that can help us get rid of unsustainable power supply options. New solar power plants are constantly being built around the world, vying for the title of the largest photovoltaic power plant in the world. Competing countries include China, India, the United States and Australia. Egypt and the United Arab Emirates also join the competition. In this video, we will talk about the largest photovoltaic power plants in the world. But it won't be easy. The solar energy sector is one of the fastest growing industries in the world, so it's absolutely impossible to answer the question of which solar power plants are currently the largest on our planet. You are on the Karo's Show channel. Enjoy watching! California's Ivanpa Solar Electric Generating System provides clean electricity to 140,000 homes. It is located in the Mojave Desert, three hours east of Los Angeles. Its construction took about three years, costing $2,200,000,000, and finally, in the spring of 2014, it was put into operation. The station produces absolutely clean energy, without the need to burn any fuel. Energy is drawn from the sun, but the method is different from solar panels. Note the three towers surrounded by thousands of mirrors, they are the secret. Evampa Station does not use the usual solar panels. Instead, completely ordinary mirrors are used. Each mirror module is a system of two large garage door-sized mirrors. Such a module is called a heliostat. There are 173,000 such heliostats at the station. All these heliostat mirrors reflect the sun's rays to the tops of those same three tall towers, located in the center. Each heliostat is movable, and with the help of a computer, all 170,000 heliostats are constantly turning to follow the sun. Thus, the sun's rays reach the tops of the towers all the time, until the sun goes below the horizon. As you have already guessed, at the top of the towers are boilers of liquid, which from heating turns into steam. Exactly the same boilers are located in the heat and power plants familiar to everyone, but they are heated there by burning gas or coal. Here only inexhaustible energy of the sun. The higher the tower, the more mirrors can be placed around it. These towers are very large, as high as a 50-story building, 148 meters. At the peak of the day, the boiler can heat up to 700 degrees or even more. The steam goes down to the turbine and rotates it. Electricity is generated. This method of generating energy is called solar thermal. The total capacity of a Vanpa solar power facility is 392 megawatts, which is quite comparable to the average combined heat and power plant. The Badla Solar Park in India is a complex of solar power plants on the planet. The area covered by the photovoltaic panels reaches 57 square kilometers and produces an incredible 2,245 megawatts of power. The Indians located the park in the Thar Desert of the state of Rajasthan. The average daily temperature in the region is 48 degrees Celsius. The region is considered absolutely uninhabitable. They invested $1.4 billion in this solar park and got the cheapest electricity in India. Some difficulty in maintaining the plant is brought by strong sandstorms and hot winds that clog the photovoltaic panels and require regular cleaning. But the park remains an extremely attractive investment for foreign investors. Thanks to investments, primarily from the United States and European companies, the plant is constantly expanding. In the long term, India intends to get up to 17% of all electricity produced in the country from the Badla power plant. The Wang Hydropower Hainan Solar Park in China's remote Qinghai province is the second largest solar energy site in the world and the largest site in China itself. It received this title only in September 2020 when its construction was completed. This moved China's Tengger Desert Solar Park into second place as it has held the lead in China so far. The project was developed by China's state-owned Huang Hydropower Development for $2.31 billion. The power plant has an installed capacity of 2,200 megawatts, or 2.2 gigawatts. In 2021, the largest solar power plant located on the water opened in Thailand. Details of the largest water power plant of its kind have been published on the website of the Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand EGAT. Builders have installed 144,000 solar panels on 120 hectares of water contained in the Thai Surinthorn Dam. 
According to EGAT, the solar power plant will work in conjunction with the system installed at the dam to generate electricity through the movement of water. This is another major advantage of the new facility, because the two systems that perform the same function together can ensure uninterrupted energy generation. In addition to this, people will be less exposed to the risk of being without electricity due to weather conditions. If it is a cloudy day, the people of Thailand will still be supplied with electricity thanks to the hydroelectric power plant. It is estimated that 144,000 solar panels can provide a capacity of 45 megawatts. Compared to the performance of the largest solar power plants, this is not much, but for a structure installed on water, this is very good. The United Arab Emirates is also not far behind. The Arabs have launched one of the most powerful private solar power plants, Nur Abu Dhabi, with a peak capacity of 1.18 gigawatts. The launch of the green power plant took place on June 29, 2021. The cost of the project was $870 million. The invention of Arab engineers received a symbolic name Nur Abu Dhabi, which means Light of Abu Dhabi. And this is no accident, because the peak capacity, equipped with 3.2 million solar panels of power station, reaches 1.177 gigawatts, which will be more than enough to provide electricity to 90,000 people. It is also worth noting another indisputable advantage of the giant solar farm. According to the developers, their power plant will reduce the emission of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by several million tons. On the entire planet, it is unlikely that it will be possible to find a more suitable place for collecting solar energy than the Sahara Desert. The Egyptian government has decided to make full use of the potential of this source and build the world's largest array of solar power plants in a hub called Benbin Solar Park. The Benbin Solar Park, located in Benbin, about 650 kilometers south of Cairo, is the largest solar power plant in Africa and the fourth largest in the world. The 1.65 gigawatt project, owned by the New and Renewable Energy Authority NREA, was completed in November 2019 at a cost of $4 billion. Pavagata Solar Park is a 53-square-kilometer solar park, located in the Indian region of Pavagata Taluk. Completed in 2019, the park has a capacity of 2,050 megawatts. As of April 2021, it is the third-largest photovoltaic solar park in the world after the 2,245-megawatt Badla Solar Park in Rajasthan and the 2,200-megawatt Huang Hydropower Hainan Solar Park in China. The total cost of the project was $2.1 billion. Pawagata was chosen as the location for the project for several reasons. In addition to high solar radiation and land availability, the region receives very little rainfall. Pawagata Taluk is located in a semi-arid area on an elevated plateau surrounded by rocky hills. The region has been declared a drought 54 times by the government of Kanaataka in the last six decades. The region is also sparsely populated, and most of its residents are poor farmers. Many residents of the region have migrated to Bangalore, about 180 kilometers away, for economic reasons. A special feature of the site is also the way the land is arranged. In this case, the land for the solar park was not bought but was leased by the government on a long-term lease from 2,300 farmers. The rental rate is increased by 5% every two years. In October 2022, the United Arab Emirates launched its Zero Emissions Strategic Initiative by 2050 to become the first country in the Middle East and North Africa MENE, region to undertake such a strategic initiative. The Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park is one of the most ambitious clean and renewable energy projects implemented by the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. The solar park is located on a total area of 77 square kilometers in C. Al Dahal, about 50 kilometers south of Dubai City. The planned capacity of the solar park by 2030 will be 5,000 megawatts, with an investment of up to 50 billion dirhams. Once completed, it will reduce carbon emissions by more than 6.5 million tons per year. The share of clean energy capacity is currently about 11.4% of Dubai's energy mix. The current capacity of the solar park is 1,013 megawatts. Which of these mega projects did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. See you later.